In 2011, the Pew Research Center produced a study on wealth inequality among the different racial groups based on 2009 data. 2009 was chosen as that was considered the peak of the housing crisis. Like many other studies, a Latino racial category was created by removing Latinos from every other racial group. And again, while the study was clear on their methodology for counting Latinos, the media failed to really make any mention of that. Now what they found was that the ratio of median wealth between whites and blacks was 20 to 1. And the ratio of median wealth between whites and Latinos was 18 to 1. Pretty extreme inequality to be sure. The main source of this inequality was due to the greater amount of wealth invested in housing by blacks and Latinos. So when home values dropped, so did their wealth. So in general, the housing, the economic downturn that occurred as a result of the housing bubble bursting hit blacks and Latinos harder than any other group. But as bad as all that was, that's not the interesting part about this report. In one part of the study, they decided to look back 25 years and see if there were any trends. And what they found was that in 2009, the inequality was the worst that it's been in 25 years. So things have not been getting better for blacks and Latinos. They have only been getting steadily worse. But even then, that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is this. When they looked back 25 years, there was a problem with the earlier data such that Latinos could not be disaggregated from whites. So for this part of the study, they had to make an adjustment to make the current methodology consistent with the past methodology. In other words, they had to confound Latinos with whites in the 2009 data. And what they found was interesting. The uh, ratio of uh, white to black wealth dropped from 20 to 1 to 19 to 1. And the ratio of uh, white to Latino wealth dropped from 18 to 1 to 15 to 1. So why is this important? Well, imagine for a moment you wanted to sway policymakers or even public opinion by convincing them that the white wealth was lower than it actually was. In theory, you could do that by selectively choosing to include Latinos in your white data set. The lower wealth of Latinos would bring down the white wealth overall. Would this be valid? Why not? Did it seem unfair when the prior examples, agencies failed to allow Latinos to be white? But now, why would it be unfair now? Would the person presenting the data be dishonest? Latinos can be of any race, after all. If the person presenting the data isn't forthright in disclosing their methodology, then the burden falls onto the audience receiving the information to ask the critical questions. It becomes the responsibility of the general public to ask the question, were Latinos counted as a part of the data set? Think about how many times you have heard any data on race, any data. And how many times have you asked, were Latinos counted as a part of this data set or not? I'm telling you that if you haven't done that, then you probably don't really know what you've just been told. And what happens if the audience receiving the data is already of the mindset that Latino is a racial, racial group? Well, in that case, they would never even think to question the data. If you're not asking the critical questions, then I would argue that you are already contributing to the racialization of Latinos. You realize that after all the studies that I've shared with you so far, there was no critical response from the Latino community. If Latino is not a race, then where was the Mexican American Legal Defense Fund, MALDEF? Where was the National Council of La Raza? Where was the National Association of Latino Elected and Appointed Officials, NALEO? Where was the League of United Latin American Citizens, LULAX? Or even the student movement, MECHA? Could it be that all these organizations representing the Latino community are in agreement that Latino should be considered a race? Their silence actually speaks volumes. So maybe it's time for a new paradigm. Offset data due to lack of recognition of Latinos and mixed ancestry. Bias data has arisen due to arbitrarily segregating Latinos from other racial groups. 
The potential exists to manipulate data and thus influence policy decisions by capitalizing on the confusion of Latino racial status. So what is a potential solution to all of this? Perhaps Latino should be considered a race.